Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Pro Trader webinar series for Friday. Uh, today it's a little different. Today we have uh, David Blake, uh, futures and stocks trader, uh, and uh, he is not an educator, uh, but he trades. He's been using Bookmap uh, at a very high level uh, for quite a while now. Well, not actually quite a while, for like a couple of years or a year and a half or so, something like that, David. Um, yeah. That's right. uh, yeah, and uh, you know he's creating uh, excellent content on it. Um, he has a, a very um, uh, a deep understanding of of the liquidity and uh, uh, how these markets work. So uh, we decided to do a um, a, a webinar here uh, from a, a Bookmap user, a Bookmap uh, trader. Uh, so uh, let's um, uh, jump in here. His background here, David has a background as a financial professional in corporate finance, as well as a CFO, having spent time in Hong Kong, Manila, New York, uh, and London. His passion for trading began in equities and then options while working in Hong Kong and later on spot Forex. So he's got a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, trading, uh, uh, depth and experience. Uh, in 2016, he eased back on the corporate life and started trading at home, primarily uh, a reversal scalper of ESNQ on Ninja. Uh, he discovered Bookmap in early 2020 uh, and has been able to scale and, fre um, um, and frequency of his day trades uh, from a range of setups. Uh, he's a, a, a regular on Twitter and Discord con uh, con contributor under a Tarantino trader. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen him out there. Uh, plus, uh, you've seen him with his uh, beloved unicorn levels in, uh, in Spa Gamma. Um, here's his contact information, his email, Twitter, and Discord. I'm going to put putting in this into the chat if you want to reach out to David uh, and contact him directly. I need to go through the disclosures and let's turn it over to David. Um, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. The risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss. I'm sorry, is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And uh, with that, let's uh, turn it over to David and let him take it away. Hi guys, good afternoon and good morning. Uh, just please bear with when I try and get the the screen up to share there, Bruce. Uh, yeah, looks good. Which one can you see? So uh, yeah, we see uh, we see you uh, at your mission control there, and then we we see the uh, um, uh, green and red. Uh, uh, yeah, and I see in, in and out book map is coming in and out there. Okay, is book map there now? No, we still see this uh, green and red um, uh, striped. Yeah, there, there's book map. Okay, thanks, guys. So I just know. Lovely. Right, just minimize that. Right. Yes. Good morning again. Thank you, Bruce. Very kind of you to invite me along here on a uh, on a on a Friday. Really privileged to be joining. What a phenomenal week it's been for the book map education uh, for everyone. And starting off with Brent, a brilliant session with Brent, and then we roll through. Uh, to Wednesday then with Joseph. What a monster NFL uh, Super Bowl session we had there, Bruce. Got to got to say. Yeah, yeah. And then and then, and then going through to uh, Scott or the uh, you know, our beloved uh, drill sergeant Pulsini yesterday from his sauna in Arizona. That was uh, that that was fantastic. So so as Bruce rightly said, I, I'm not an educator. I, I would never pretend to be an educator or even profess to be an educator. So please bear with me as I stumble along <laughs> this afternoon. David, you're um, getting all sorts of nice comments in here and support in the, oh, uh, in the thank question. You. Thank you. So, uh, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm, I'm, I'm very much an armchair trader is what I call myself. Uh, and that I'm, I'm not a technical trader as, as you will have seen or you will see. I very much swashbuckle my way through the through the markets and, and chance, chance my arm and chance my luck. 
what I'm going to do, if that's okay, guys, I've got a couple of slides I've put together just to talk very much about ETH this morning, uh, and then the, the little sort of drop down, uh, and then we can get into into the live market, if that's okay. Uh, the thing I was saying to Bruce a little bit earlier on is I I sort of trade within my my knowledge and my limits, um, and the analogy that I often use there is as as a young guy. I used to love, or I still do love playing electric guitar. Could dream of being like Hendrix or Clapton or Mark Knopfler or someone like that, or Van Halen, but I know my limits. So uh, that's 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 how I trade and that's that's how I enjoy uh, enjoy trading. It's a, it's, it's a great session today with the, uh, the, the quad witching and so forth. So I thought I'd put Samantha up there for those of you that will remember that, or maybe it's just you and me, Bruce, remember Samantha, I'm not sure. We'll have to, have to have to see. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I pinched this off uh, off Zero Hedge. So, I mean, there's two things for me to say here. First of all, before you go into battle, you know, you, you've got to know what's going on for the day ahead, that bit of planning. And I'm, I'm fairly loose and high level with my planning. Uh, I know there's there's people like the skipper, like Tom and, and Doug and that do a, a much thorough planning ahead. But you know, for me, I just want to know what's going on out there. And today, you see these numbers here, Bruce. You know, 1.8 trillion of SPX is coming off, and even on my little beloved spiders, it's 241 billion. These are just monster numbers, and uh, in, in many ways, it could be a day not to trade, so to forth, because this is just going to, you know, mess us all around. So I check my economic calendar uh, before before playing, before entering, and I, you know, I advise all of you to do the same. I'm a huge supporter of Spot Gamma with Brent, again, as you see from my unicorn notes, as I call them. Uh, Brent does uh, twice a day, sometimes three times a day, his notes. They are phenomenal. It's well worth the dollars for this. You know, We'll talk a little bit later about the, the meltdown that's happened. But just reading this here, and when Brent's saying, once we get through here, we're going to get here, the, the options market, you know, as we see here, though that's the expiries, is massive. And it has such an impact on shares, such an impact on futures. And that's what I'm really loving about Spot Gamma because it, it gives me another window. It's another lens on uh, on what I'm up to. Okay, I've just got just a couple of slides just sort of set the scene of what, what I primarily look to do. Uh, again, most of this, the use that follow me and chat with me know what it's about, but just, as, you know, so we're all on the same page. I use Ninja Trader and I use Bookmap. I'm gonna say it's sort of like 40, 40% on, on what I'm doing with them, what my eye time and my mouse time is. The other 20% is gut feel intuition. So just like we've just been showing with, with Brent's note, I take that on board. The, the challenge as a, an amateur retail trader is to make sure, for me anyway, that that 20% doesn't become 40%. We've all been there. We've all been there, Bruce, when the, you know, in our head, we've got it, the market is going to go down, and we're looking to go short, and you sit in there, and the market goes up 30 points, <laughs> because that gut feel intuition just overrides what you're seeing on your screens. But at the end of the day, I'm a discretionary trader, so I've got to use my gut feel and intuition along with my signals. Uh, as Bruce said at the start, I am a reversal trader at heart, for sure, but I do love those moments when the market just goes bang and, and, and it shoots off. You know, that, that can be NFP. I love playing NFP. And Bruce, I never used to play NFP until I had Bookmap because I just didn't know what was really going on. But with Bookmap, I can now trade NFP and trade it with confidence and trade it with weight. We also get headlines, you know, Janet Yellen, Jen, Janet Yellen can be on, on the TV. Or as we've seen today, uh, we had uh, Bullard was on, he was jawboning, and I think he lost a few teeth the way the market moved. Uh, and it's those book map bubbles that, that I love to see, they grow in size, that volume, they're all the same color. Glancing down, seeing what the smart money's doing, is it in the right direction, bang, yes please, I'll have some of that. My reversals are triggered very much by levels, levels and flow, you know, cause and effect, all of that fundamental 101 stuff, and you can see some of the things that I look to on that, and we'll, we'll touch on those now. Another analogy, guys, that I, I shared with Bruce a little while back, and politely, I, I was not a bad trader before I had Bookmap. Uh, those that knew me before when I used to trade with Quantum, I was, I could sort of hold my own, politely saying that, and that's like my drive-in, and that depends if you ask my passengers. 
Um, you know, I, I can reverse, I use my side mirrors, my wing mirrors, I use my rear view mirror. But what Bookmap gives me, it's a reversing camera. I, I can park that car where I would never be able to park before, where I'd never dream to be able to park the car. That's what Bookmap gives me. You know, it really gives me that extra sight. Those that have driven a car with a reversing camera, you know exactly uh, what I'm talking about. Any good trader needs an edge, and my edge I try and lean on at times of the day. Again, you should, those that see my posts will see that. It's not that I take a trade at those times, but it's those times I'm more aware, more in, more attuned to taking a trade at those times, because if there is a move, it's quite likely to be a proper move rather than a fake move. Uh, and that came, or I learned that from my, my Forex days of people like uh, uh, Ryan Littlestone uh, and Mike Patterson, some names uh, you guys and girls might, might know. That continues into RTH, into the US session. So the times there, you know, I, I go from the bell. When the bell goes, apart from today, because I was just getting ready for this, but I'm a fighter. The bell goes and I get straight into the ring and I'm ready to slug, slug along, as is the skipper, you know, we're ready to go. But I also do understand and I respect that sort of 10 minutes in that 9.40 time one, let the market settle, let the orders go through and then see which way we're going to play. Another key time for me is an hour in. Scott's talked about that. Joseph's talks about that. Uh, it goes back to the old days, I gather, you know, the big dogs go off to the fire hydrant if you take my drift. So the market can move around in another direction an hour in. So I have alerts set for that to remind me. I also have some colors on the chart. And then, Bruce, we have our London close that, you know, we always remind on the, on the webbies that uh, London's coming up. You go back and look at your charts, guys politely for 11.30 Eastern time and see often a V-shape, you know, changing. Now, sure, David, it might not be 11.30, it might be you know, 11.33 or 11.40, but a change of wind and so forth. We're then getting into our good time and lunch. So a good time then is that 2.30 when the guys and girls are coming back, so to speak. The market, again, can move on a dime round about there, which then is that final frame of the session. And then, of course, the, the final 30 minutes into the bell of New York or the final 20 and you get, I always get it mixed up, Bruce. It's either one step or top step when they start printing these numbers and it comes out over the squawk. But again, looking for some nice trades to, to be had. In ETH, in London, in ETH, it's those levels that you can see down there that I'm looking at. Uh, mentioned spot gammas, I call them the unicorns, vital to me and more so in RTH particularly now as I'm starting to learn, I've been using uh, the Live Hero for a good few months now, uh, and that's getting sharper and better and so forth. I like to look out where the levels are. Again, we'll see that in a few charts shortly. Uh, and I'm blessed, very, very blessed in the mornings because I have a couple of great traders who help me out, uh, like Mobster or Moby down in, down in Australia, fantastic trader. And I have uh, Dov, D-O-V, uh, Yuri, based in Israel. So the three of us are sort of hunting in packs in terms of trying to point out where the levels are, what's going on, and trying to sort of connect the dots here, Bruce, in terms of where the market might go. Is it going to scoot up, fill up, and go down, and vice versa? Also very mindful that F often things are a dog walk. You know, that the market, like you, you head out your home, you're going to go down a few blocks, you go south, you go north, you go east, you go west. But ultimately, you're going to come back home. We see that a lot. So that's in my mind. And you know, we saw that a bit today when we're dipping down after Bullard. It, it starts to go back up. Is it going to go all the way? No, but it's, it's a little dog walk. Another, or the final key thing on my slides, like this screen here, if you can see, if you've, if you've got the webcam up, that's my NASDAQ screen. That's NASDAQ, that's Bookmap, that's NASDAQ. In front of me, those that have done you know, Skype for me, that's, that's ES land. That's all ES land. I will not take, I do not take an ES trade unless my NASDAQ is not necessarily 100% confluence, but if that is ugly to what I want to do, I don't take the ES trade. With NASDAQ trades, Bruce, I, I will often take that on its own because the way she scoots around, and this is really about NASDAQ leading more often than lagging. I have had in the past, I have had a YM, I've had the Russell up, but I struggle to walk and chew gum. So I, I'm just, I'm just to the, just to the two. I don't have enough real estate, do we, Tom? We don't have enough uh, uh, 
uh, enough charts. Okay, right, let, let me talk through what I, what I was doing this morning. It wasn't the best of mornings, really, but if it's okay just to sort of, because we always often talk about RTH, so that's, you know, it's, I think it's quite nice to cover a little bit of ETH if, if, if we can. So this is me this morning. If, if I can get, get, get my mouse, there we go. So this is UK time, so it's, I think it's five hours ahead of Eastern time, Bruce. So I've had my breakfast, too much information, and I'm sitting here with my coffee, and I'm you know, chatting with, with Yuri and, and Moby. And so I'm just sort of seeing where we are. I've zoomed out, so I've got a 30-ish look, and I'm looking at these levels. I'm just, and what I do do, like all good traders, I write them up. I've got a, you can see there, I've got an A4 page of a diary, and I just make my notes and I do some sketches, and I'm trying to work out that dog walk and dot to dot sort of thing and see. In terms of size, I really like, the words like, I, I like something over 300. So it's 287, it's okay, but it's not, and there's, you know, not a lot. So I'm, what I'm seeing there, there's, there's not an, an immediate, let's go, or go, go down level, but there's certainly a little bit above, bit of resistance, bit of headwind. I've got a couple of unicorn levels over here, which can be very much in play. And typically, as you'll have with an ETH, you've got the, the yellow VPOC and the VWAP all pretty much close together. I have a, a small ice selling earlier on, so, you know, but not not that small, you know, 100. So notable, and there's been a bit of absorption when we try to scoot up. So hmm, it's easy to say now and the market's tanked down, but, you know, certainly there was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of resistance there. My flying speed is typically sort of six to ten points, depending on how I'm feeling. That this is where I trade. This is my trade window. Uh, that that sort of level. Okay. On Nasdaq, I because of the move, you know, that's a lot wider. So again, when I was looking at Nasdaq pre pre European Open at seven o'clock, I'm I'm seeing a little bit above numbers here, guys. I, I'd like to see sort of over 70, over 80, uh, and that, Moby's the guy, the mobster, he, he is the guru when it comes to, to NASDAQ, that's, that's for sure. Uh, so I, there was nothing screaming there this morning, uh, VWAP and so forth, and certainly not really, you know, not a great deal down there. It's a little bit of a stop run, mind you, David, uh, 60, okay. And then this is my, my, my flying height sort of thing about 30 40 50 is, is where i normally normally fly when i'm when i'm trading okay europe i i just run c trader you'll have all seen that this is a free software package i don't subscribe to any data feed for for ninja or or for book to take the european because i don't trade europe so i'm you know let's not throw some dollars down the table so this is a free package uh so when i was looking you know pre pre-European open at seven o'clock it's it's not yeah it's looking a bit bearish there's there's no denying that uh so that you know takes into my mind at seven o'clock okay right we get we get going so we've been hugging we've been hugging that that vpoc yeah those are there they're still there that's up there hmm okay there's this ice here ice on chart so this again that's a little bit bearish bearish up there and so forth yeah, I felt a long off that. I felt a long off that VPOC. Uh, I had a, this is the first time you guys have seen my Ninja. So this is 300 tick. This is the red racing lines I ran from Shark Indicators. Those are Bloodhound. That's off Jeremy Tank. L great guys over at Shark. You, you guys that have dealt with them, brilliant team. Really, Keith and lovely guys. And the logic that's running, that's off Chris, the ZTP stuff. Uh, if Chris is listening, I'm sure he'll be shouting and going on on David. This is ETH, you know, this is more for RTH, but it's it's given me a bearish feel. There's no denying. But I, I I got in for a little cheeky long, not a not a large one, um, but I'm afraid Tom on this one I'm embarrassed, so I didn't get much more than a you know a bucket a a bucket of uh, a bucket of chicken wings or so forth. So that's just to sort of look how that was going along then. So it, it chewed along here all the way from the European Open. Chewed all the way there, Bruce, until we got to, to London Open, eight o'clock. We had a very peculiar, we had a, a nice bit of ice up, bit of ice down, da, 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 da. It's like a bit of a bun fight. So I didn't take much from that beyond a bit of a bun fight, really. 
you know, a bit of a bun fight and so forth. What you will notice, spot cam levels have changed names and locations. Uh, Brent stuff gets updated throughout the day, two plus times a day. Uh, but to me, it's support and resistance, 123, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not getting too excited. I'm still sort of okay. A little bit, little bit later, we come along and some interesting stuff here. So I say with these these names have to change them. What was interesting here, we we dipped above the VWAP and then it started to come down. This put wall, we dipped into here, skipped up, and then it was refilled. And I thought, whoa, okay, you know, we we this is the beauty of Bookmap. We are gonna, you know, they really are gonna try and get this to go back up. We've had some nice, we've had some, you know, pretty good ice, hundred, you know, hundred. Yeah, 100, 100, you know, it's not bad, not bad ice buys for ETH and so forth. So you thought, I was feeling not bullish, bullish, but still more upbeat than downbeat, yeah? Particularly when we went through here, but he was having none of it. And this is, this is, the, this is the takeaway here, Bruce. It's not massive numbers. Again, look at that, but you've got six, seven levels just came into the book. This is thuggery. This is my Tarantino and where, you know, I picked that name up from. This is the Tarantino, in he or she came, filling the book with intent. If you try and go up here, boys and girls, you're gonna get smacked, yeah? We come down, we've got some absorption going on, so we're not going quietly, we're definitely not going quietly. And then these levels, we soon sort of scoot into then over the next, you could say over the, over the next, next hour and so forth. We got stop runs going on, so, Again, minded that maybe this is just a little bit of a scoot down and scoot back up, those dog walks I talk of, but this is the worry. This, you know, seeing that depth of market, the full level, well, more than level two with Bookmap, <laughs> call it level three, Bruce. Um, you know, and so we're getting the real effects here. Yeah. Keep an eye on the European markets, guys, obviously. By now, the FTSE in London's getting really ugly. I mean, that's a blind cobbler's thumb. That is not nice. That is, that is not looking good. Europe markets as well. So these aren't tied. You know, I agree. If anyone's asking questions, they're not tied. They're not linked. But so I'd often describe these markets to the US markets. They're linked by a very loose, thin piece of elastic. But, you know, be mindful. If this is tanking, it's unlikely that the, the ES and the NASDAQ is going to be going bullish. It's just unlikely. But so that sort of that confluence uh, as it is. On, on the NASDAQ, as, as we got along, I did go and take a bit of a higher risk, scooty, cheeky little little long. Uh, we had some really nice ice nibbles, not big, not big, but we had some nice ice nibbles and we had an actor staying in, staying in the in the boat with the ice on chart. So I had a little go here. When it dipped back, I was probably cursing and swearing. It wasn't quite the rosaries, the mysteries that Sergeant Pulsini talks about, you know, but I was certainly, oh, please God, <laughs> go back up. I wasn't looking for much. I really wasn't much. We had got the call wall and then we got the VWAP. So I was only looking to get more than burgers and fries, you know, TGI Fridays sort of. So I was just looking to get just a little few out there. And uh, thankfully I did just after here. I think I may have posted it, Bruce. It, after that, she did start to go down. So I chanced my arm. Uh, trading gods uh, were with me. We look back then to how ES was ticking along. As we've mentioned, we've got a fair, you know, the, the icing continues. Apologies if I repeat myself here. The, the, and the icing has been continuing. So again, you know, they want to go up. Things are getting absorbed, but they want to go up. We've still got this wall here, this wall of pain for, for the bulls. Um, this guy steps in and I thought, okay, right, okay. They stepped in and they got filled. They got run over. They stepped in and they got run, and against them were these nibbling along with the with the ice spies. I mean, the, the intel I've got here, it's just beautiful. It's just gorgeous, you know. Uh, I was then, I, th I thought, okay, I did take, I think, a cheeky little long. I didn't get much out of it because I thought, okay, they're going to, they busted this. They're going to run it. Someone's going to run it. They're going to run up and we're going to have a little go at that. It just ran out of steam. It, it ran out of steam. Then we see, you can see the view up there. Um, we then see a bit of, if I use the word ice, it's not ice, but like an iceberg, nothing to do with trading, sort of broke off and that just came down. So it's like, okay, you, you know, the pressure's on, getting those insights. Not massive, but still, you know, I'd love to be able to drop 123 contracts on 
then this little this little baby has appeared and now this this is it's not thuggery and this i i know i've chatted to quite a few about you know we we, we talk in discord in, in the chat room we also talk on twitter and dms and so forth you know what is this what does it mean and you know, I, I don't know i can only guess um but it's low enough not to be thuggery thuggery would be sort of you know here it, you look at the levels across you'll also notice that at this 197 there's a tiny white line and you may not be able to see it properly there guys but that's a large lot trader so if i say 100 of those contracts is one actor as just tank on the lawn here at the time the gut feel this is this is they want to get filled they're not trying to push it up and it could well be part of this guy they've They've moved that to there, they've reallocated their margin, moved that down, and they want to now drive the price from here down to there, a four, five, six handle, yeah, uh, scalp. And sometimes we do see that. You've seen my posts where we'll have, you know, ice up, ice down, ice up, ice down, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But a lot going on there, and and just that insight. So I wouldn't see that on Ninja. No, if we're looking at Ninja, we're not, we're not going to see any of that. Okay, how do we... How do we sort of continue on? So it's all disappearing now. They really are. They're, they're taking the margin away. They're putting it, they're putting it elsewhere. This has grown, not by a lot, but this has grown. So I've noted that in my mind. I may have even written down in my book. Uh, that is grown. So if that's growing, that telling me that it's becoming more of interest, more significant, or something. I can't really see whether the you know the actor's got any more on the table. It's probably still about a hundred or so but look at this look at this guys this is remind me again this is eth yeah extended trading hours or as i often wrongly call it electronic trading hours eth 500 in eth so you know, these guys do not want it to go down they do not want it to go down they pile in bang we can see it here 500 in etc so we got a real mix of signals here we got thuggery we got, give me the scalp, and then we got these boys going, no, <laughs> you're not going down, you're going up. We've got some absorption going on. No, you ain't going up. It's a re, it's yeah, uh, and often on those, it's a, you know, set on your hands. You're not sure there's too much going on. It's a real tug of war. Wait for it to work out. Wait for it to work out. What does David do? Well, D David does what he often does he goes and gets his does some swashbuckling here for the skipper so i can tell the skipper when he gets out of bed in the morning and gets out of his hammock um so on nasdaq you know where we were before b park b you know you know the routine so now that if you can hear that 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 is my one hour dogs at the fire hydrant telling me the market could well move we're, we're, we're an hour in yeah so I've scooted onto my NASDAQ chart. I can see that push on ES and I go bang, hit the bid. Again, it's not a lot, you know, I only take two or three down and I get two, three as we as we as 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 we come back up. There's not really anything of interest going on here. But that sort of like I know we're gonna dip and we dip, you know, dip and dive, dip and dive. So yeah, take 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 my points. Okay. Update of where we were, Bruce. So we had that that actor that came in, boom, through it went, through it went, you know. So that earlier on was a lovely towel of from up here, was that thuggery, and look at that's building there again, 196, that's a bit more, uh, that we were going to get down. So you know, it would have been a nice trade from the put wall down to down to this area here, you know, and get yourself four, five, six handles, depending where your entries and exit were. But you know, and we had pointed out that that big that big ice nice buy hopefully we're going well there bruce no okay. great great confluence of events there excellent excellent right um i there's a bit in the morning i was working on my slides if i'm if i'm honest um and what i want to sort of show now is some of some other bits and bobs within that so i posted this up i think you know i was dreaming i do dream a lot a lot of us do dream as traders uh so i got into not as good as some guys and girls i saw on twitter but i you know i got myself into a really sweet position we were and i was like oh look at all this is the daily on ninja look at all this lovely <laughs> blue water boston consultant group you know lovely dreaming we could go down here but i'm also not a complete fool all the time and thinking well we're probably going to come back up so 
it's not so much about the trade here, David. It's about okay, when do you stop? When do you screw down that stop loss? It's you know what I what I have, the words I often use, tighten up. Okay, so this market's going on now. I run a squawk. This is my live squawk. It's I've turned it off at the moment because it does make a bit of noise. And again, Bruce will have seen this when I do a screenshot. This is London time, you know, five plus Eastern time, and I'll do screenshots and I'll, I'll put it into the, the chat and so forth. But Bullard's out. He's breaking his jaw. He's at CNBC, and the markets are not liking what it, what he's saying. I use this not so much to trade from the guy. It's like it's audio, so I hear him talking. My life is the is the is the charts that I'm looking at. But this is great to be able to flick it and go. Oh, what, hang on, what was that? What did the guy just say? But you know, need your intel. Got to get the the context of what is what is what is going on and so forth. And there's plenty of these services out there. So do do look to take one is my my advice uh, on that. So market's going down. We're making some nice handles. Unfortunately, the skipper's not around, so I can't, he can't tell me where I got to get out. Uh, so I'm on my own. I'm flying solo. I'm flying solo here, Tom. So it's bad. David does not like flying solo. So wh where am I going to go to? So I think I put these in the Discord channel. And those of you who are not in the Discord channel, please come and join us there. We do have, uh, I think, a little bit of fun, and we do try and share our madness and our methodologies with everyone. So do do look at that, please. It's uh, it's free. There's no, you know, c c come along, please come along. So I'm, I was looking at the queues, uh, and this is on DX Feed, which is a lovely service. And again, we've got the usual suspects of VBOX and VWAPs. I'm, I'm like a broken old record here, aren't I, really? So you saw from the previous, one o'clock, so this is again, you know, five hours Eastern time. Bullard's broken his jaw, and he's off to A&E. You know, they've called 911 to, to fix his face. Uh, and it's oh, 6,000. Now, again, it's ETH. It's not massive, massive, but it's like, mm, okay, we've got, a, we've got a bit of tanks on the lawn and someone wants to be filled. So I'm mindful of that. So I'm using more and more on the queues. I use the spiders, as you will see from my ninja, but I am using the queues a lot more. I know, I know um, Doug uses the, the queues as well, and I will shortly be running a lot more queues on my, on my charts uh, on, on ninja. Okay. So back to spiders again. You know, we saw the numbers at the start, the uh, sort of billions and trillions. So the, this is big stuff. So I was looking at spiders, and it's like twelve thousand. So what was really peculiar at the time when the ES was tanking? This was not. This wasn't moving. And my comment at the time was, this was Michael, Michael Burry. You know, the uh, uh, the big short guy. You know, uh, with the, the, all that all that stuff. And I'm like. I'm, but you can see from the, you know, it's, it, ES is tanking and this is not moving. Well, this is why, because these guys have stuck in here. And there's, okay, we've got a little bit moving down. And we, it's like, now this is not that big. Let me quantify that. We've had some days and it's been 85,000 in full tilt of the market. But still, it's, you know, it's David. It's not 797, is it? So it's, it's like, okay. So it's just Intel. It's that full depth that Bookmap gives me. It gives me the Intel. So I, I, I feel some chop ahead, so it gives me opportunity back to my trade with 20 plus handles. Well, let's let's at least take three off or even close the trade, because that makes you know that that that, that makes sense. Boom, it went in. It, they took them on and they started to get they did get filled there. You know, real real stuff, real 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 stuff going on, uh, and there. So it's it's that it's that direction that helped me to 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 make sure I was in the trade long enough. Give it room to breathe, room to run. But when I can see, you know, the, the end of the game's coming up, then yeah, I, you know, I, I I'm out. Uh, I took three off. I think I've got still one running, if I'm right, right, in, right, in, right, in saying that. And that that's the presentation, guys. So that we're back to Samantha, Samantha and Darren. So let me uh, let me get that out of the way in the chat. I'm just going to have a sip of tea and see Bruce if there's anything I've missed there. I should cover, please. No, that was <clears throat> that was fantastic. Um, uh, please get your questions in, everybody. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Garrett, um, I'll give the link to the Discord here in just a second. Uh, <clears throat> and like uh, David said, it is free and open to all. Um, I'm 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 just kind of curious about the uh, so I'm you're you're uh, 
regular trading hours and your extended trading hours uh, uh yeah. very different approaches here uh looking at it yes um I like the way that you um covered the very beginning here about the uh the the witching uh a quad witching and mm. the number of of uh, options out there um do you look at that as do you look for order flow to go in a certain direct do you have an outlook on that of what might uh be happening there um besides just looking at some of the levels from Brent or the uh, do you are you integrating the hero in to that uh for the um uh, directional trades. I'm, it's, it's primarily really Brent, really to be to be honest. Um, his, his notes are really good. His his videos. He does have days when he's doing you know some live stuff and he's doing videos on particularly on the stocks. I, I haven't got any stocks on the screen today, as you can see, uh, but I have been looking at that. Hero, I'm finding very useful on on the stocks, particularly those you know, those meme stocks that that we all talk about. Uh, like the cinema group and so forth and hero i know we we've again on discord with a chat and so forth we're, we're i say setting up i think maybe three months i've been running now bruce as a, as a sort of you know as a guest as a guide um there's days when it's fantastic and there's perhaps days when it's not fantastic and that might be more me brent than uh, <laughs> than than the system uh at the moment, I'm using it, Bruce, probably more tertiary you know, of, of everything else I've got going on. So it's not always sort of primary. And we, like yesterday, we saw some phenomenally big numbers while there was a slugfest going on and so forth. But I do feel, I'm, I'm probably not answering the question here, but I, I do feel it's week to week, it's becoming more important to my to my decisions. But yeah, Brent's notes are critical in terms of where he's talking about where things can go looking at his graphs and so forth and that and but always mindful back to earlier on in terms of just keeping that in that sort of 10 20 percent so i try and t trade what i'm seeing whilst keeping a bit of gut feel you know that's that that sort of definitely definitely what i'm what i'm trying to do for sure got you and got it, you okay yeah i, I guess uh, i guess the uh, question was more revolving around that that 20 percent of gut feel um, yeah. With any kind of bigger outlook for the um, the quad witching? Sure. Yeah, but well, today would probably be a day, as, like I say, I, I probably wouldn't trade that much. There's been days like that when I, you know, I kick back on Discord and I've maybe got a couple of handles out in the morning and I'm I'm really relaxed, particularly on a Friday. Uh, you know, I, like we all have, we, we've read beat depth of books and so forth you know and there's guys and girls will say they don't trade on an nfp they trade tuesday to thursday that sort of thing um so there's no insights that i've got in terms of how to approach today that's for sure i'm minded that the last hour is probably going to be quite brutal and and just you know stick to what i know that's that that's the thing but I'm, as we again we saw yesterday you, there's moves going on that just make sort of literally no sense we've seen we've seen ice run over as, as scott was talking about and so forth in his posts and we've seen you know this morning you know look what i was showing we were having 500 plus and we had a good few 500 pluses nibbling away uh, in eth uh on standard and pause and they just got smashed <laughs> they, they, they got absolutely run over um which shows the market is the market is the market and you know not a good or bad phrase really Bruce you know, at best the market is random at worst the market is random um and if I can pinch the skipper's phrase you know at best David is clueless and sort of <laughs> sort of thing the the thing that I do the thing that I do or say as well I was chatting to a good friend this morning in Singapore um thankfully in what I do as a you know I call myself a scalper I know some of you would say no you're not a scalper a scalpers in the in in the market for you know two three four five seconds so to some people I'm a I'm a, a swing trader, and as you were saying yesterday, Bruce, how how Scott is on some of those longer trades. It's like, oh, well, we didn't expect that from the uh, the drill sergeant Polsini, but um, he, he's got some runners in there, which is which is good. Um, so I, because I'm just trying to trade the moment, as you you know, as I talked through them this morning from ETH, I'm less worried about the bigger picture. It's not that I'm not worried about the bigger picture. You know, I, I do I do run these charts as you've seen. If I drag this one down um, and so forth, you know, and 
I do run the 15 minutes and I, I don't even go near market profile because I again my head would hurt uh, I rely on others like Yuri and uh, and Tom for that but I, I do sort of keep a little eye on the longer picture Bruce of, of where we are in terms of low volume nodes and high volume nodes and all these different levels and these are all kindly printed by Ninja on a variety of indicators you know that I'm running but the Again, it's these unicorns that are, are, are my key thing. So I, I've got the 15 going, and then you know I've got the hour again, which you guys have seen from from before. Not as nice as Scott's, I know, but it gives it gives me a feel like earlier on when it when it may, might be going up in the direction of actually, you know, it's not it's not it's not that bad or something like that. So yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm witching. I'm sorry there, uh, Bruce, but I, I'm not I'm not sort of where will we end the day. And it's more the ETH that I'm doing this, what I'm zooming. I do it less. I do it less with RTH. I do make notes often ahead of the the start, and then I'll again write them up in my book. Oh, there's this big level, that big, that smaller level, or so forth. Um, yeah, sort of where where we are. Okay, other ones there, Bruce, please um <clears throat> let's see here uh yeah we just covered about using the hero um uh benjamin's asking about your uh favorite entry signals seems mm -hmm. like uh like ice um but is there any other entry signals that uh, give you confidence in your style of trading yeah sure if i so as i say that sort of 40 40 percent i'm just going to put es out of the way and i'm going to come to my my ninja chart so as i say i'm using both together uh and so forth i run the 300 tick here and i run a thousand tick you've sometimes seen this at sort of six seven eight hundred uh but i'm running that then at the thousand and so forth i will talk about these in a moment and then i've got my spy which i'll come to so one of the the, the key entries or the the entries that say I, I am a reversal trader at heart but just yeah. Uh, one of the key things I look for to play from, and I and again I put it in the on the post and that, and this is the opening range bar. So this is this is old school stuff. I learned this off a great trader called Will Shire. I have mentioned them in a couple of posts. Uh, he's a, a I will say ex commodity trader, it's another long term pro trader. Lovely guy to speak to if you can get hold of him. So what I've got on the chart here. This, this green line here with the triangles and the lower green, this is the high and the low of the first minute. I say, can't say it enough, old school. This is the first high and low of that first minute. And then the mustard line is the opening range print. And time and time again, if you look back over your, if you have this on your charts, and this is printed automatically by an indicator from up din, uh, or up down, depending on how you want to pronounce it, up down uh, on Ninja. So this this area, you know, if if we go back, perhaps we should do that. And to, I've got to answer the entry question. So where I'm looking for those reversals, and we'll we'll check when we'll check with with Bookmap. So market got going here. So it's 2:30 in the UK. The market got going. So it starts about here. We get to a low. Now I I thankfully I've got my my zone trader. I've got a lovely signal coming here. I've got a little algo telling me it's bullish. I've got my little lovely little green arrow saying bullish and I and I've reached the bottom I've also reached that little that little zone so as an entry I'm feeling okay you know we we've, we've dipped down in that first minute but I I probably wouldn't be scooting it because I got a bit of red behind but I'm at that that level there I, I'm then I'm going back up here and I've gone through I've gone through my opening range now I mentioned about sort of times didn't I you know that sort of like looking for that sort of sort of turn so these without going through each point bruce this in the open is very much my sort of if i call it a level or it's my uh let's grab some tea there sorry guys a spirit level or something that this is sort of gives me a sense of where we are now today is quite sort of sort of quite tight but it's these signals that i'm getting off off ninja from the zone trader that that help me then align what I, where am I going to get on board or not? I then of course mix that in, you know, with our with our beloved 
uh, book map and everything that I've got going on there. You know, he heads heads always whipping around, as you'd expect, guys. So I'm not slick as doing this as you are, Bruce. There we go. Okay. I mean, when she got going, we, you know, we had some we had some good ice selling, we had some good ice buying. It was a real a real fest. So I'd be looking at this and thinking, oh, you know, oh my God, what what are we doing? I can see I got a lot of mix going on. So it was certainly that 20 minutes is that would have been tough trading. Very 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 tough trading. There's no you know there's no there's no denying that. The other thing that I'm using for entry is my spiders. Uh, and if I if I get this to to where we should be now, the thing I find with the spiders guys is that it's it's cleaner. I think I I think you may have said that once or twice, Bruce. I maybe you've looked at the chart. Um, it's not as messy, or maybe Fausto. It's it's not as messy as as the S and P and so forth. So you know we get going here, and then I I've got some I've got some glorious signals here i've got green in the background and this 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 logic is driven by the bvi uh, bvi x there's, there's a there's a whole there's a whole nine yards of stuff you could, this is all the stuff that's within within it bruce so there's 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 a lot going on here within bloodhound there's a there's a lot within that logic and so big big influence for me i i got green here i got green here so i'm if i was trading in that sort of getting towards that 10 minutes in it's it's green i'll then be looking on what i've got going on on book map and you know confluence all those sort of phrases and and off we go and that that would have been a fair old run so the spy i don't trade spiders but i am using it as you see also and i'm also then glancing a lot on on the spiders on on book map if i bring that down now what I've been doing on spiders here on on the DX is keeping it really tight because I I would want to see if I got any big you know anything big anything big pulling up and there's not at the moment there's not since since we sort of had it so the, those guys are <laughs> what a blood fest on on Hero they really are they're determined to keep it around about around about here um, and the same on the queues isn't it really Bruce it's not uh, yeah it's getting that little. Uh, it make, makes makes good sense though. Like uh, you know, it's 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 um, you know quad witching. It is. It is. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, definitely. So it's not not necessarily the, uh, an ideal day for uh, you know for for, for scalping because you can get torn one. But certainly not a bad day either, really, if you get on the right side of your signals. And you, as long as you're not too greedy. So like yeah, you know, back to my ORBs. You know, we've danced above it. And then here, I mean, yeah, the old school stuff of higher highs and lower highs and all that, all that great, great good stuff, and so, so to speak, and and that, and off, you know, off, off, off you go. And that, so yeah, that's that little baby there. So yeah, yeah, it's I, I my setups. If that was sort of part of the question there, really, my my setups are sort of loose. I'm looking for that reversal off a particular point. And in my mind, I've got, as I say at the start, Bruce, I've got, I've got time of day, news things. I've then got, yeah, clearly, bookmap is a huge part of what I'm doing in terms of supporting what I'm seeing on these charts. You know what, I, what I'm doing, and this, it's not just these, the levels and so forth. There's some other witchery going on uh, in terms of what. We have as the, these KP2s where it's below zero, above zero, etc., which is also from Chris uh, and bits and bobs. So, uh, and that's yeah, you know, I I'm, I try and make some luck. Really, I don't have a if we if we were sort of talking about a trade plan, as I think I said the other day, Bruce. What what I try and do is thankfully as an ETH trader is try and get a bit of greenery done in the morning. So I've just got a couple of handles in the bank, and then in the afternoon I'm trading that money rather than my own money. And that's that's a fortunate position about being in the, perhaps being in the UK. You know, the the ETH can be a little bit easier to trade. I find, yeah, is is what I'm taking. And I just try and if it's a, if I feel everything's come together, then you know I I load up and I put a bit of scale on. And that's what Bookmap allows me to do is to put the is to really be able to throw the scale onto it. And 
I don't, I, no, again, you, you guys will have seen when I'm, I'm jokingly asking where shall I take it off like we were last night, you know, when we, we had a couple of runners in there uh, with Haru and, and, and Tom as we got into the bell. Um, yeah, I'm just, I sort of make my own luck. I'll, I'll take, my, if I've got, say, four or five lot on, I'll take three, four off, and then I leave one to the trading gods. And yeah, sometimes it comes back in my face and I, oh, but that's, yeah, another days, you know, you, you get a 10, 20 uh, point run on the yes, and it, it's it's worth it, worth the while. Um, one thing I don't do, and I'm happy to be told off by Scott on that, I'm, I'm not very good in terms of looking at, you know, ratios, Bruce, in terms of going, okay, I'm risking, you know, two, three, four, five handles on a stop here, uh, and I'm looking again, you know, 10, 20. You, you saw that on one of my trades this morning when I, I'm, it's a counter trend trade. I've gone long on the NASDAQ when the market's clearly going down, and it was, in many ways, it was an ice trade. You know, in many ways, I was, I was trading ice up to that unicorn level, but in David's little mind, there were some cheeky little handles to be made, and I was pretty confident that they were going to be made. But I'm sure if Scott and Sergeant was here, he would uh, he would shout at me, and uh, yeah, I'm sure Bruce he would on that, you know. But maybe I mean, maybe yeah. Joseph would take it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's your it's your style of trading, um, yeah. and uh, uh, I mean, you've got. Um, I, I mean, it, I think it's. Um, in what you're covering here is very objective. I mean, you, you've got your higher time frame. Uh, you yes. have your reasons for starting to look now at order flow, uh, yes. and then you start you start looking at the order flow, and 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 you're looking for this move to unfold, a, a specific move to unfold. Yes. Uh, and I mean, we do this in the webinars all the time. Yeah, I mean, same same idea. Uh, so uh, uh, and and I really like actually the the, the bringing in that twenty percent of like your experience and feel um mm. and um uh, because so many times i mean i i remember being on a a, a meeting with you and uh you you said like uh we just made 12 handles ladies you know in in the uh in the s p <laughs> like you, you know there was there was some news that came out um yeah it was uh, uh was. someone someone was speaking and like yeah. you saw that you saw the volume come in it's like that jump is, yeah. on Jump on, hitch a hitch a ride, get out, yep. and uh, you know uh, you're you're done for the day basically. That's uh, it. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's from experience. It is. It is. Yeah. It's 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 having that belief and and also using you know I, that was a good call we had that that was with Haru that was Moby that was with Tom etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, and it was I could see the bubbles reiterating what you're saying there Bruce you know these aren't necessarily big bubbles we can look at the volume it's this still quite low volume but it's when you get those big fat bubbles going in one direction and I've just checked I just check on the sub chart we we do have on chart as well of course and I'm just seeing there's nothing you know it's not a stop run you know it's not a stop run yeah okay let's just jump on board and and, and chance my arm and just you know hit as that that time was just spanking the bid sort of thing uh, yeah and that and what I what I do you know, is more FYI. Now this I haven't got the uh, the DOM running uh, simply because it uses a fair bit of bandwidth, uh, and I didn't want my system jamming up on this webby. So I do trade from the DOM on on ES, and I rarely do use market orders. So if if you can pretend this is up and going, I'm just I, I hit a particular area. So it's like I want to get in now, and I'll just be hitting in or going short is, is what, what I do. That's how I do it. For for NASDAQ, I'm too, again, walking and chewing gum. I, I, I can't do, I can't use the DOM for NASDAQ. I don't think many of us can, to be frank. So that is very much more market, market, market orders. I got to chance my arm on that sort of thing. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, any other parts there am I missing? Uh, let's see here. Um... Any other questions here for uh, for David? Um, uh, everybody, I'm sorry. It looks like I put in the wrong. I mean, I, I copied it from Discord, uh, uh, David uh, dash nine one one. But um, uh, is, is Tarantino uh, trading um, is uh, the uh, handle there to take a look at if you want to reach out to yeah. David. Um, so uh, my my fault on that. Um, and um, uh, let's see, Sviatoslav, uh, there's a subscription to icebergs required. Um, 
uh, icebergs are very different than dark pools. Uh, and dark pools basically is you know over the counter trade, uh, and then it's uh, uh, updated uh, later in the uh, uh, in the exchange, uh, which you see um, typically happen in stocks. Uh, so that's the way that works. Uh, let's see, Omar. Um, yeah, any any other um, um, markets that you are trading? Like, uh, you know, you're looking at the indexes there. Are you looking at also crude oil or uh, some of the currency futures or uh, gold, et cetera, bonds? Uh, yeah, not so much now. If if you and I were talking two years back, I was I was I'm laughing because I was always showboating there again. I know there's one or two guys that know me back two three years when I was with Quantum and that was a quantum trade in their chat room and yeah i, I was on gold you know, cl i was on gc uh i i do a bit of the dr copper hadn't done anything on the bonds the zns and so forth but i i would have a go at it go to anything uh and that was just a you know, d delusion in my own self disbelief if, if that makes any sense sort of thing uh I, I used to enjoy that i used to enjoy covering many many markets and then it was talking to it was talking to Will Shire, who I mentioned earlier on. And it was also talking to Chris Knox, and, and you know, they all gave me a bit of a slap about it because it's like just no one cares, David, when you're down the bar, you're down the pub, you know, you're at Little League, let's say, when they're asking you how it's gone, whether you made your 20 handles, your 20 points on oil or gold. No, I say no, you know, no, no one cares. It's, it's whether you're you're a profitable, steady trader. And the thing with just covering these few markets, I I do, so I say live and breathe them, but you know they they are in and out of me. So when I've got to follow the news, there's only a little bit that I've got to follow. Uh, that all said, I've not run. I think Bruce, I think I only ran gold and oil on Bookmap not long after I I had it. I'm, I don't know why I'm asking you because you probably won't remember, but I, I I did run it for a little while. Um, but I don't, I don't today. And I was talking to Moby about this a little while back because I know he, he likes to have a little bit of dabble on, on other bits and bobs. Um, and to stop me doing it, guys, if I was to stand up and sit on my hands, to stop me doing it, I, I don't take any of the feed. Again, Bruce knows I just take this part of CME. So I see what I see now. I do have a bit of 6B, uh, which is uh, pound dollar, a bit of Betty, as I call it. But then that's the Cockney rhyming slang of Betty Gable. Cable and Cable was the old name for the sterling dollar. So I, I do have a little dabble on that, primarily when there's a bit of news brewing. So in December, we had Brexit legislation looking to go through Parliament and so forth. And and the pound dollar was sort of ran about, if I recall, ran about $1.30. Uh, and I was long on that on 6B, but otherwise I don't. But I I'm a little tempted, Bruce. I, I might say one month. Let's sort of expand me out. But you know, you, I th hopefully the point across is no one. I say no one cares what you make your points on. You know, as long as you're making points, and at least I don't have to worry about OPEC and all these other news things and so forth. I just, I just. But the stocks are getting me going for sure. That that DX feed on Bookmap is is something else. And you know, seeing what Joseph's doing, he's a phenomenal trader, phenomenal trader. And the and the posts he's putting to into discord free of charge that he's putting in there as well it's mind bending and so forth so uh i think if there's an area i'm going to go into a little bit more it's probably going to be the you know the stocks and particularly those meme stocks where the, the liquidity is good uh brent's notes are fantastic and there's you know other things out there uh and there's some huge moves absolute huge moves oh dear me bear with Multitasking, I can't do this, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I, th I think stocks. There's a long answer, Bruce. I think. Okay. Probably, okay, great. You know. uh, let's see, um, guys. I've I put it in here a bunch of times. Uh, uh, Tarantino trading. Uh, look, look up that uh, if you want to reach out to David in Discord. Uh, yeah. There's also uh, just if you can't find them that way, please just jump into um, the futures room or you know. Uh, one of the rooms in there, I mean, you'll see it. Uh, he's yeah. in there. 
So uh, yeah. uh, that that'll probably be the easiest way then. If you can't, yeah. if the search is not working, I have I've struggled with that search as well. I am 100% sure that this is his his handle in Discord. Um, so uh, yeah, just you might have to you might have to look for it. So sorry about that. Um, all right. Um, Let's see, uh, no other questions. Uh, let's see, I mean, uh, Sviatoslav is asking about, um, uh, do you have daily, week at profit or loss targets? Very good question. I don't anymore. Uh, and it, like a lot of traders, when you start out, I think you've talked about this, Bruce, Scott talks about it. And so it's a great question in terms of, you know, you look to you want to make as i was in forex you're looking to make okay if i can make 20 pips and then i do x x x contracts a day then i can be making you know, three four five hundred dollars six hundred dollars or whatever your target is uh and the challenge on that for my own little psychology is that let's say it's let's say it's now you know my four o'clock now let's say i haven't made a dime and it's four o'clock and then i'm like i'm starting to beat myself up frail myself because i haven't made any pips of or, or dollars and then the risk is you start to do some dumb trading you know some revenge trading or or whatever the phrase would be so it was it was yeah ryan littlestone talking to him at uh, forex flow as he was at forex like a great great trader um he said just skip it you just don't don't even bother about it. don't even think about that enjoy the market if you if there is such a thing as enjoy it and points will come I, you know sorry to keep repeating what scott says you now but it, they do they do come they will come just try and sit on your hands and don't have those those sort of targets and for me I, I, i'm grateful literally if i make 20 cents in a day I, I know that sounds a bit crazy but if if i come away and i've made a little bit of greenery you know god bless that that's that's sort of where i where i am and the the big days will come they they do they do the lady luck comes along and whether it's fmoc or it's I you know, blame yelling a few times or something like that, or CPI, uh, and all you know, all the screens, all all this stuff here is just telling you to, you know, to hit the bid or hit the ask, and and off you go. the The key thing there is to have the conviction to scale. Uh, I've not talked, and I just, I would struggle to talk, Bruce, about pyramiding, but you know, the the idea of using markets money, and I'm sure most of you know about that. You know, like I say, and you you know, you get two three points up you get your stop loss to break even or a tick up so it's to that burger and fry area and you can stick on another contract and depending how you set up your trade so like with ninja i can i say aggregate them so i i can average them together or i can keep them all separate as well but but essentially you know once the trade gets going i scale and i'm not risking any of my original account i'm just risking the money i've i've got on the tab um worth le learning how to pyramid or play with pyramid and learn you know play with it in sim and so forth um, the other way to do on that as we i don't know we often talk about is is playing around with micros and that so don't you know if you want to get you learn it in sim if you if you're if you're on the on the minis and then go on to micros you know i i, I do trade micros not as much as i used to uh and that uh, and I'm, I'm laughing on that risk because there's been days here when I've, I have been trading micros, not for many months. And suddenly I've, I've scaled away, as I'm saying, and I'm like on 17, 18 micros, which feels really good. And then I've got it over 20. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? Because the commission on a micro is not, to, is not a tenth of uh, the commission on a mini. But still, yeah, you know, wait, wait, ways of learning. So long answer, guys. No, I, I, I don't have any. I don't have any targets. And and. I don't know if many of us do really, Bruce, do we? I don't, you know, to do this. You know, I've been doing this for a good few years, as, as, as you can see, as, as an armchair trader sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I really liked, um, uh, you mentioned this uh, yesterday um, when, when we chatted. I mean, this um, uh, very, very simple, straightforward, um, uh, you know, trade management rule of, yeah. You make money in the morning and you play yep. with it in the extended hours, uh, ETH, and then uh, yep. regular trading hours. Uh, uh, now you're going to risk that. Uh, and if, it, if you lose it, you lose it. Um, but um, uh, you, this is a, a really nice approach to you're playing with the bank's money and you, and you, That's it. you know, um, uh, you know, don't don't risk more than that. Um, um, so, 
I, yeah, I, I love it. I think that's a, a great way to go. Yeah, and I'm I'm fairly tight on my stops. Again, guys will see that in in my posts, and I know when I when I first started to uh, to work with the skipper, so to speak. Uh, I think perhaps I've surprised Tom how frequently I get billy busted out, as I call it. But I I'm I'm you know I'm happy to get into a trade, get smacked out with one tick. But I've learned not to take it personally. And so if it was a good trade, but I it just came back on me a little bit, then I, you know, in I go again. The other thing that, you know, I'm, I feel I'm pretty good at these days, you, again, you'll see it from some of the posts, is being, you know, 360, 180, I would just flip around. So we're not trading here, but, you know, if we're, if we're going here and we're going there, it's, it's, it's not trying to chase the algos around the chart, but being, you know, I'm up for a long, I'm up for a short, I'm up for a long, I'm up for a short. So... Again, back to using the signals on Ninja, using the signals on Bookmap with a bit of that gut feel, and just being open to to go with the flow, go with go with the money, etc. Where it's smart, but you know this is okay. I may I'm making excuses, but you know this is not that is not nice. I I, I know some guys have probably made a lot of money on <laughs> on this in the past 45 minutes and so forth. But there's a lot of mixed stuff going on there, isn't there? It has to be said, Bruce. You know so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, uh, um, you know, all sorts of new positions or, you know, flow from old positions, to new positions and, and last, yeah. uh, uh, you know, last week or so, basically, uh, uh, you know, occurring here. So it's very difficult trading. Um, not not the best time to have pro trader webinar series, but no, uh, no, I'll, no. I'll have to keep yeah. that in mind next time. No, no, def definitely. And, we, we, you know, to, to our, my beloved live unicorns, as uh, <laughs> as I call them here. Again, I know, you know Brent and, and Matt are, are doing some fantastic stuff. Because this, guys, this is a platform as a service. So I'm happy to be corrected on that. But you know, this this runs on the high end black boxes, doesn't it, Bruce? At your end, on or you know Amazon and so forth. So this is the platform as all the hard lifting has been done off site, and then it's, you just get this beamed, this number beamed in. You know, some days we've had this number. I'll say Brent if he ever watches this. You know, Brent. We some days we've had this number. And it's been into hundreds of thousands. So it's it's context. It's not a massive number, uh, and maybe because that's the, because of the witching. So whilst we might get a little bit excited, it's on the way up, and then it's it's then flattened out. So you know, net nets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's all yeah, a bit of a battlefield. Bit of a bit of a battlefield there. Yeah, I mean, what's it's nice that we have the. Um... Uh, in that hero there, they, I mean, uh, on a day like today, <laughs> yeah. you you get you're getting the cumulative volume delta there and that the green line and your sub chart there. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, you know, get a kind of, I mean, who knows who's doing what um, yeah. uh, today, but uh, uh, we can see there's a lot of buying coming in here. I, I'm very curious about that. I, I, yeah, this is kind of up outside of your presentation. I was very curious to see what would unfold today. Uh, yes. with the um with the options like um uh you know is there going to be like uh, i was kind of anticipating this update yesterday get out of the options positions today reestablish the new options positions and looking that, for this to drop um uh yeah. but um you know what do i know um uh, <laughs> you know Brent's the expert here he is isn't he just he he just is i know it's yeah uh, yeah I'm cautious of saying something when he's going to just be cursing and swearing and going, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Um, so uh, I, no more other questions here. Uh, anything else that you want to uh, cover, David? No, that's great, thanks. And, you know, thank you everyone for listening to me babble along with my uh, my armchair stuff. I mean, ho hopefully there'll be a chance, maybe another time, Bruce, to uh, perhaps we'll just do in the future, maybe a, I call it a live trading, but, you know, we you've, guys and girls got any, an idea of what I'm about and know that that video will be there and then perhaps next time we can just you know play the market and I, I'm very happy to do an open or something like that you know like like uh, like J Trader does that's for sure yeah uh, yeah excellent excellent well uh, yeah thank you so much David um, uh, you know, very very nice having you in here uh, we'll do this uh, again uh, and um, uh, you know get uh, some other guys interested here too as well yeah definitely. Uh, you know, we can learn from each other. That's a big part of the bookmap community. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah. I, I, um, so thank you very much, David. Very, very nice presentation. Well, thank you for inviting me.
All right, uh, no more questions, uh, and lots of thank yous are coming in uh, for you, David. Uh, oh, so uh, let's uh, we'll wrap it up, and uh, uh, we'll um, uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Uh, thanks Brilliant. again, David. Yeah, and nice weekend, everyone, and catch up, catch up all in Discord, please. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. Thanks. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.